Ah, hi everyone. I just wanted to add some more information in regards to the Freemasons or symbolism of Masonry. This I want to start out with. I always want to start out now my videos uh, with a scripture from the Bible. Um, this comes from Revelation 11, 8. Uh, that's 11th chapter, uh, 8th verse. And their dead bodies. This is from in regards to, if you can uh, read in your Bible, in the 11th chapter, uh, where the Antichrist had killed the two witnesses. And, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. What is the great city? This was Jerusalem. This is where the Antichrist will rule from. Okay. When, uh, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So you see where it mentioned in the, where the, our Lord was crucified. So where was he crucified? In Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, that the Lord refers to, to Jerusalem as Sodom and Egypt. And you know what uh, Sodom was that was mentioned in the Bible in, in Genesis uh, story uh, when God saw the uh, abominations that were committed in that city and the, and the Sodomites or homosexuals, God destroyed that city. And uh, Egypt was a symbol, a city of bondage and their abominations as well. And this is where uh, the start of Freemasonry came from. And this is what uh, the Lord re refers to Jerusalem as well. I know a lot of people didn't like me speaking out against uh, Jerusalem and the Jews. But you have to understand too, Jews are uh, treated the same by God as anyone else. God is no respecter of persons. And... Uh, if anyone is um, into this uh, false doctrine about the Jews were the chosen people and all because um, there's a lot of Satanists that are in the church and I also did a study in about the seven churches that the uh, that Jesus had given to the Apostle John and there was a, a lot of uh, false prophets um, a lot of false teachers and uh, those that God even called the synagogue of Satan that were persecuting uh, his people, the Christians at that time. It was uh, from these false religions that mis uh, has misled uh, many people and has uh, has totally persecuted Christians throughout the centuries. Um, I have something else I was want to show. Uh, I will leave this link. This is a uh, an ebook uh, put up by the uh, Gutenberg uh, organization uh, on Freemasonry. So hopefully that you will go through this and read it because it has a lot of information in regards to what Freemasonry is and how it originated and it has its origins from ancient Egypt and from other religions through through history and uh, through the the empires and um, where uh, the Kabbalist uh, you've heard that uh, uh, Judaism is, is heavily in, into that and where they had practiced uh, the, these abominations throughout the centuries. And um, so uh, I'm not going to read through this because I had like some shorter information I was wanting to share and what I think about the, the Freemasons and uh, why uh, people should not, uh, should, should not join them at all because they're evil. I have, I have two here, two good references. Uh, these are called um, Freemason Deceptions, which I'm going to also include as well. Uh, okay, uh, let me get started here. What I wanted to uh, tell you about what the big deception was is that mainly on the Bible and about God, the Father of Jesus and Jesus himself. Uh, they're saying that Jesus is not a God and 
which we know that he is, um, what they say about him, I'll just stick to the point. It says, uh, for the craft, that's what they call it. Like in witchcraft, Jesus, they say Jesus Christ is not a god. Or he is God as much as you and I are gods. See, the Freemasons uh, claim that they are gods. And uh, are you, they also claim that you can worship anything or call it your god. And, and which is um, full of abominations and darkness. And uh, remember the last video that showed that, that symbolism where it said from darkness to light. If you could go back and see that. Um, actually it's um, darkness into darkness because there's no light in Freemasonry. Okay, it, It's all evil. It's a Luciferian doctrine. And I'll quote to you from Albert Pike. Uh, who was a, a highly regarded Mason and Satanist. Yes, he was a Satanist. And he claims that the Masonic religion should be maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. And the true religion is Satanism. Lucifer is the god of light and the god of good. So they claim that, which is you know, any Christian that's in the truth of follows Jesus Christ knows that this is, is a blatant lie. It's a blasphemous lie. And sh and he claims that struggling for humanity against Adonai, which is a blasphemous name he gave, the, uh, our God, uh, Jesus Christ, he says the God of the, uh, the Jews and the Christians, the God of darkness and he evil. That's what he calls uh, our Lord and Savior. And Satan is a murderer. So every lie that he's ever put out, um, he wants to destroy true Christianity. And this is what Freemason does. It says, Masonry links itself to lots of cults and religions throughout the history. And that is Egypt, the Kabbalah, which I had spoken about before, the occult, spiritualism, and alchemy. And the, fo the founder of this alchemy, they claim, is a Hermes. And is, was supposed to be a, one of the founders of Freemasonry. And uh, that capital G that's in the uh, Freemason symbol you see right here. I might have to go back and look up that other, uh, that other symbol. But... Uh, uh, so happens that I came up on this Rosicrucian, like I said, Rosicrucian. Okay, they're Freemasons as well. Do you remember uh, they, uh, they talked about the Georgia Guidestones? And they claimed that the Rosicrucians had something to do with that, uh, erecting those. Okay, they're all Freemasons. So that, that tells you that the Freemasons have control of this earth and the the international bankers, the, the Jewish bankers, they're all Freemason. Okay, here's the one I was uh, looking for. See that? That is their symbol and the G in the middle. That capital G, the emblem. Uh, they claim it stands for God or the grand architect of the universe. Uh, which they're saying that it's Lucifer. And which is, you know, a lie. And it also stands for geometry. Uh, no, gnosis, and if you don't know what that means, that means like knowledge and generation in the real divine trinity of the Masons. That's what they call them. Uh, there's also some uh, all types of symbolism here, uh, and I hope that you do go back and read that ebook um, on that because it's like a lot of symbolism that they use. And in this world, in the beast system, they use a lot of this. And I'm not sure what this is about the Narborough. No. Uh, but anyway, uh, some of the products that they have, uh, you know, when you go out and um, like the McDonald's arches, I'm trying to think of, uh, like, they say that it's the number 13. If you turn it like a sideways, it's the number 13. Like there, uh, 
these are like some of their symbols that they have out there. Everything has to do uh, with any type of commercialism. It all has to do with Freemasonic uh, architects. Uh, all, all these things are built uh, for their benefit. And, uh, but it goes even a lot deeper than that. And I want to get into the next video in regards to Planet X and what they have planned and what they have planned for us. And the goddess they worship, Isis, uh, they don't celebrate life, they celebrate death. And they're wanting to depopulate the earth. So the only thing that is left for them are the rich and the, what they call the altar rich. And that's all that they want here. They want this planet for themselves. But God's not going to allow this. Because there is uh, something else I was wanting to share with you too, which I'll also re uh, repeat when I do the Planet X video. Uh, hold on a second, and I'll show. I'll find. Um, okay, this is uh, a page that I found on the Georgia Guidestones. I'm sure you've seen a lot of what the picture looks like. So, and you possibly have heard that the very first one that they have on the, the Guidestones. Um, is to maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. So, see, that was their plan. Their plan is to depopulate this planet. And you're probably wanting to know why I bought up Planet X. Well, that's going to be part of it. And if you've probably heard why a lot of people are going into hiding and about underground cities and such, well, I'm going to get into that shortly. And uh, a lot will su surprise you. Excuse me. A lot will probably surprise you. And uh, some of it will probably really make you mad. Because when I heard what they did with trillions of dollars of um, our money, uh, you know, it would just make me just... You know, I just had to make some emotions about it. It made me sick to my stomach. And it made me angry, but thinking that these kind, these people, uh, these evil, these men are evil, and for them to just leave us here to die, and then them hide in the safety uh, of the, their mountains, their dens, their rocks. I want to tell you something. What God says about them. Okay, this comes from Revelation six, uh, chapter six, verse fifteen. And it, it tells about when uh, there are great earthquakes, the sun is darkened, and the moon turns to blood. Well, this is the time of the arrival of uh, Planet X. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, this is the military, okay? Because the military is involved in this too. And every bondman and every, every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Uh, and they hid themselves from uh, the Lord from the wrath of the Lamb. And who's the wrath of the Lamb? Jesus Christ. So he's going to come to find them for what they've done to the earth. They've done to his earth. They have destroyed our earth. His earth, what well, belongs to Jesus. He's the one that created, God created this world. And he's going to take it back. Because man has literally destroyed this planet. I'm at the end of this video, so I'll be talking the rest of this in the Planet X video. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care. God bless. Give your life to Jesus today because time is running out. And you don't want to be left outside the door. Take care now. Bye-bye.